all right you all welcome back to my channel if you guys want to see how i got this beautiful hairstyle go ahead and like and subscribe subscribe and like it doesn't matter what you do as long as you tap that notification button let's get into this video ladies you can see i already have my hair cap on um it's been laid and i powdered it a little bit you can see that my face is halfway done i have not finished it um as you guys saw in this previous video um this is the before and that was the after so i'm not gonna do that until i finish my hair i just don't i, I want my hair to be done and then do my makeup okay so today i'm doing a review on love me hair um apparently it's affordable luxury wigs which i'm here to put it to test because i've never tried this company so in the box they gave me some nails which are really cute they come with like the little tabs and everything if you guys checked out my channel you guys know i do nails and stuff like that so this is really cool i can't wait to check this out they also gave me earrings my ears are not pierced so it'd be kind of cool if they had some like non pierceable earrings is that the right way to say it? like earrings that are for people who don't have piercings but this is really cool i found someone to give them to nonetheless let's keep pushing as you guys know as a natural hair guru we have ourselves a nice silk tie i'm pretty sure this is for like if you put your hair up at night or whatever for the wig but this is pretty nice it's really stretchy and really big you can get a lot of hair in there so i love 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 that also have this back piece um to go on your phone for like a phone stand it's cute it's little red rhinestone so that's really nice as well it also came with a pamphlet of how to care for your hair all that good stuff is in this nice little pamphlet um keep this you may never know why you may need this but keep it as long as you have the wig so you know how to care for your girl okay they also gave me a nice um comb because i got a 24 inch wig um my wig came with this nice little gift it came with a three and one um iron and flat iron so can't wait to really check that out i have not checked it out i'm really curious but right now it looks like it's on the crinkler and then it turns into a flat iron and then it turns into a curly iron. So I'm pretty sure there's some buttons and she's up. I don't know, we gonna figure it out, okay? Because I also got this wig. Um, they gave me a cute $10 coupon. Um, well, it's really a gift card, not a coupon. Lasts for three months. So they're like, you better buy another one. You better get another one. <laughs> um because it only lasts for three months but hey you never know what you can do with it um buy you a nice wig add two dollars off that's great so let's get into this ladies and gentlemen what you're really here for my 24 inch wig i'm so excited um i got the body wave i'll also post a picture of the particular wig that i got right here all right um this is really nice you guys know how much i love a good wig let me adjust this lighting so you guys can really see the wig all right can y'all see boom so here's the wig it's 24 inches it's body wave it already came curled like this as you guys can see um i do have um a partial i said partial <laughs> full lace um the only thing is i got a 13 by 4 so it doesn't go back as far as like most of my wigs do i know like a nice like six inch part you know what i'm saying make it realistic looking but nonetheless this is okay for me i can make it work i've had things much um <laughs> parts much closer to my scalp than normal but this is nice um, the lace looks really good. It looks transparent. Like this will probably do very well with blending in my skin when I cut it off. It also comes with this band in the back. 
um, which I love. A lot of um, companies, oh, here it is. They actually do have one. So the adjustable band, just in case you don't want this, I'm pretty sure you can cut it off. I haven't decided if I'm gonna cut this off yet. It depends on how it fits. And then in the back, it has a little lace where I'm for sure you can cut off if you want and put the hair up. I would probably clip this off. I normally do. There's no point to keeping it. Clip it off. First thing I do when I'm putting on a wig is line that back come up with the nape of my head. And that's how I know that it's on my head right. All right. Now that's personal. I'm going to go ahead and pull it all the way down. And how to identify if it is on right. You should be able to make a side part, which I can. Um, which is great. My comb will help me be locked and loaded. Along with this band. Alright. Now that the comb is locked and loaded, it's time to comb this hair back so I can see what I'm doing here. So I got my white tooth comb, brushing it back. Um, Secure your wigs, ladies. <laughs> so, pulling the hairline, making sure that it's in a good place. All right. That looks just about right, right over the wig cap. So now I'm gonna take this off one more time. As you guys can see, my wig cap is tinted. So I'm gonna go ahead and tint the inside of my lace with a little bit of my powder. All right, so I got that tinted. If you're looking for me to bleach the knots, I'm not going to do it. Um, I just don't do that. I don't have time for it. I don't care for it. So, sorry about that, guys. You get what you get in this video and on this channel. And that's just not what I do here. Alright, now that I got the hair once again lined back up, I'm going to go ahead and start trimming my lace up. And placing the hair back so that it actually does not get your own. So I'm gonna take my clips. And this is another reason why I always try to get like long wigs because I know that nine times out of ten they probably won't have baby hairs. And this really doesn't have baby hairs, so I'll probably have to end up making my own baby hairs. So I do one big slit in the middle and then one on each side. So it just makes laying my hair down much better. I do have um, Ghost Bond today. I go between Ghost Bond and Got To Be Glue. Um, if I want it to be really, really stuck, I use my Ghost Bond. If I want it to be like, eh, you can come up if you want to with a little spits of water, I use my Got To Be Glue. I want this to be laid laid, okay? So if I want it to be laid laid, I gotta use my Ghost bond. I like to take the spout off of my ghost bond um, because of the fact like it's not as new so the product is like down there and it just takes too much to get through the spout. I just like to pour on my spatula. I have a nice um, edge control. I use a spatula piece of it and I just spread it along where I want my wig to be laid. So here we go. And I'm just going to spread that along where I need my hair to be laid. dry process that was not too bad I'm gonna go ahead and take these clips out of my hair I'm gonna comb my hair back one more time no I'm not ready to take this lace fully off because I want my hair to be like a hundred percent my hair is laid so I'm gonna take my hair wrap and I'm gonna go ahead and lay my hair down and my silk wrap. So I always fold it and then I'm gonna place it on my head. Here we go. We got it. I'm gonna leave it on. 
All right, I'll be back. All right, y'all. I think this is ready to come on. It feels like it's ready to come off, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. No sticking, so that's another sign that it's probably ready to come off. Um, but just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry it one more time. Just, we're not there yet, yeah. We're not there yet, we're not there yet. Okay, we're ready y'all. We're ready to take off the tabs and cut out my earpieces. And I can't do any of that without my hair being up in some sense so I can see what I'm doing. So we're looking at the front of the lace right now. And some of it, like in the process, I'm gonna pull y'all closer to me so y'all can see and I can see. I prefer to do this in the mirror, but I'm doing it on camera. I've not set up my new mirror yet on the wall, so I can't really see. And the side camera and this camera is not doing me justice, so I'm gonna come a little closer to you all, okay? And this was the piece that was literally over my ear. It had to go. I needed to fit my head 100% right. And now it does. Let me go finish this side. And I'll be back with you booties. Alright y'all, so I went ahead and started my edges. So I'm going to go ahead and blow them down. Alright y'all, so... Now that the hair is laid, we can start working on the actual hair. So normally I do a right side part or a middle part. It's very rare that I do a left side part. They already made the wig with a right side part. So this is what it looks like with the part that's already made in it. Not too much coming. I'm just not a right head. Like, it's just... Mm -hmm. It never has been, never will be. So, we're gonna work another part over here. And I know the hair is gonna hate me because it's like, we already got a part. We already got a part. Well, here, you're about to get another part. It's where I normally part my right hair. Gotta work it. Oh. Because the hair is already like, I'm already on one side, so what you gonna do about it? And I'm expecting the hair to shed just a little bit because of the fact that I went in and did some plucking. So I'm using my wide tooth comb. And sure enough, the hair that I've cut and trimmed is coming up. But other than that, when I first combed it, there was like very little shedding. Um, the hair is only shedding because of the fact that I've cut and trimmed. Um, and it's a plucking and I just haven't combed it since I did the plucking. So, that's that. It's about normal. So once again, if I'm going to pluck, I'm probably going to have to pluck the part off camera to make it more vibrant. So, let me go do that. Alright you all, so I went and worked on my part and did some plucking. As you guys see, this is as far as the part goes back. Maybe it goes back. Maybe half an inch a little bit, like probably right here, because I feel the track right here. So my part can go all the way here. Um, that's not too bad. Um, I got my hot comb here, so I'm just gonna work on laying this hair the way that I want it to go. Um, because it was already trained to go to the right, but I want it to go to the left. So I am moving the hair with the nice little hot comb. I'm gonna remove my clips, because as I was plucking, I went ahead and placed clips on the way that I wanted the hair to be trained to stay. It didn't take long for the hair to really kind of stay that way. Just going through and touching up the front of my hair. The nice little hot comb in.
exactly why I wanted a unit with body waves because I don't have to do too much curling probably will not curl this on the thickness level this is supposed to be what 180 it's okay like I felt wigs that were thicker on the 180 spectrum um it's not thin but it's not as as I've seen them I love this you know you love this wig this is a nice wig um I will definitely be purchasing soon from them again on everything but it gives body for sure like this is without me curling the hair like this is the way that it came I just combed out the curls so I like it it's giving life it's giving who said it and what it's everything I want. I'm probably going to go back and just add some more time and laying down the side of the hair. Um, but yeah, let's go get dressed. Mm -hmm. Boom. All right, y'all. So this is the finished look. Um, it's my anniversary night, so I ain't about to be with too much time with y'all. I'm going to be with my pink day, but Nonetheless, this hair turned out amazing. Um, I kind of paused the video for like a day or two because I wanted to see the difference between like how well the hair held like curls and stuff like that. And it does really, really good at holding curls. So I love, love the fact that it holds curls. I blew it out a little bit and flat ironed as you guys can see. Look at this. So this is a 24 inch wig. I'll also post the picture of which particular wig I got they all look good and this particular one is good um the parting is really really nice I've switched between side parts and middle parts so this wig did me justice and I'm going to be looking good on my day so guys if you like this wig click the link below go check out the website choose your wig comment below if you want to and tell me what wig you've tried or want to try how you guys think this wig turned out okay because it turned out nice it turned out nice okay it's still looking good until next time like and subscribe perfect